guys, it's Bree and Z, and today we're reading to Miss Payne's third grade class. And we hope to see you there and watch out for the rain. Toodles. It was the first sunny day after weeks and weeks of rain. Can we go out to play, Mom? asked Molly Mouse, dancing in the pale sunshine, please. As long as you keep an eye on the weather, said Mother Mouse. I'm sure more rain is on the way. Molly and her brothers and sisters scram scrambled across the fields. They chased each other around the trees, puffy and white with blossoms. They hopped through carpets of bluebells. They were enjoying themselves as much as they didn't notice it was suddenly getting really dark. Plop! A large drop of rain fell on Molly's nose. Then another and another. Big dark clouds filled the sky, and the rain started to fall faster and faster. We'll never get home in time, groaned Molly. Where can we find shelter until it stops? Just then, a squirrel hurry hurried by on her way home. She stopped when she saw the wet little mice. Her own family was safe and warm in their nest. She couldn't possibly leave the mice out in the rain. Come with me, she said. You can stay with at my place. Squirrel ran ahead on and bo bounded. Well, I'm gonna restart that. <laughs> Squirrel ran ahead and bounded up a tree, but the mice didn't follow. Your house is too high and it doesn't look safe in this storm," sighed Molly. An old harvest mouse popped her head out of the long grass. "You can stay with me," she said kindly. "I have a nice warm nest of, of twigs." Harvest Mouse scuttled to her home, but the mice didn't follow. They could see that her wooden nest was far too small for all of them. Just then, a little rabbit found the mice. You can come to my place, cried Rabbit, and join my baby brothers and sisters in the warmth of our burrow. He couldn't leave these poor little mice out in the storm. Rabbit hopped down his rabbit hole. But the mice stayed outside. Your home is very full, said Molly, peering inside at all the baby rabbits. I think we'd be too squished. Before Rabbit had time to answer, he and the mice heard someone calling Mo Molly. Pricked up and pricked up her ears. It's Mom, she squealed. Thank goodness I found you, cried Mother Mouse. This storm is getting worse, but there's a hollow oak tree nearby where we can stay dry until the rain stops. The hollow oak tree stood at the top of the slope. The mice scrambled inside and were soon warm and dry. We'll stay here tonight, said Mother Mouse. You can all curl up together and go to sleep. But Molly couldn't sleep. She lay listening to the roar of the wind and the pounding rain. And she was worried about her new friends. Would Harvest Mouse's home be destroyed? Rabbit's burrow might be flooded and Squirrel's nest blown away. Molly looked at her family, sleeping snugly. She couldn't leave her friends out in the storm. Molly hurried outside. The wind tugged and pulled at Molly as she struggled, struggled across the field. There, huddled under a swaying tree, was Squirrel. You must come with me, said Molly. We found the perfect place to stay. Just then, Harvest Mouse appeared out of the grass, looking tired and messy. Can I come too, she asked. Of course, said Molly. As they made their way back, they passed Rabbit and his family huddled under a bush. You'll be nice and warm if you come with us, said Molly. At last, Molly and her new friends reached the shelter of the old oak tree. Outside, the wind battered the trees and flattened the grass, but inside, everyone was safe and dry. The wind had stopped by the time morning came, and the sun crept out into the sky. The animals crawled out of their shelter. There before them was a rainbow, stretching as far as the eye could see. It's for you, Molly, whispered Harvest Mouse. It's a special present for saving us. 
and Molly smiled happily, surrounding, surrounded by her family and all of her new friends. In the end. end. Y'all like that book? <laughs> Y'all are quiet today. <laughs> Y'all like the rain? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What about that rain we had a couple, a week ago? We got out of school for two days. That was pretty <laughs> scary, huh? My mom said she was about to have a seizure. Yeah, that was pretty scary, wasn't it? Oh, no. My dad woke me up whenever there was a tornado sign, and nothing happened. Yeah. That's okay, uh, though. Very At least we were, y'all were prepared, prepared. I can't speak today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank y'all for having us, and thank you for being good. Bye.